I'm here at the Bonneville Salt Flats, and according to some scientists, it might not be around much longer. Located on the border of Utah and Nevada, the Bonneville Salt Flats covers around 35 square miles. Around 5,000 years ago, these flats were created by dense, briny groundwater rising near the surface. That water left a layer of salt crust behind. In the last 100 years, the salt flats have shrunk by 75%, and they could vanish by the end of the century. This is according to a new paper published in the journal Geomorphology. The study analyzed hundreds of satellite images of the Bonneville Basin to better understand the evolution of the region's salt crusts. They also used resources like archival photos and a 100-year-old map created by the U.S. Geological Survey. The study concluded that the salt flats are losing about 250 acres per year. That puts the demise of this entire area somewhere between 2072 and 2126. The study doesn't address why the flats are shrinking, but lead author Mark Radwin has suspicions. Radwin told us that the evaporation mine in Trepid Potash is likely a cause. He said the mine has been cooperative with restoration efforts, but the scale of their operations has a significant impact. Now, one way to restore the salt flats is a process called salt laydown. It's a process where a salt flat is flooded with salt water in an attempt to regrow the salt crust. Now, this has been tried before by the Bureau of Land Management and Intrepid Potash. However, they used water from a local aquifer and studies suggest that using water in the area can backfire. So to perform a proper salt laydown, water from outside the area would need to be brought in. In the West, sometimes it just comes down to water. Now that Radwin has completed his PhD in geology, he'll be starting a new job at the Utah Geological Survey to help the state search for a solution.